in this presentation we're going to discuss about kernel debugging using network cables in the previous presentation we have successfully done kernel debugging using virtual machine so why we need this particular setup virtual machine kernel debugging is for sure convenient easy and a game changer it is low cost compared to physical you can control the VM on the same host it's a lot of advantages but it has many limitations too most of the VMs or virtual machine infrastructure like VM player for example are para virtualized and there are a lot of virtualization related optimization is applied on those virtual machine infrastructure and if you go very low level debugging say for example if you want to debug a DMA issue direct memory access or you wanted to see how the CPU behaves or any low level hardware which is para virtualized things won't work as you expect because they are not real hardwares they are virtualized I personally won't recommend do any lowest level debugging or hardware related debugging experiments with virtual machine for example very rarely bank PT command works in a virtual machine so for that you need a real physical machine also very hardware specific commands like break on access for example rarely works correctly with any VMs or VM infrastructures physical kernel debugging via network cable is a fairly new concept at the time of this presentation so make sure your debugger is the latest and at least the ones coming with SDK and DDK shipped with Windows 8.1 or 8 your target operating system should be Windows 8 or later Microsoft says the host operating system should be Windows XP or later I would personally say it is the WinDebug what matters rather than the operating system from the host standpoint debugging via network cable can open a great number of protection kernel debugging opportunities which used to be a nightmare otherwise I personally will be using this particular setting a lot in the coming presentation now let's get into the steps step number one is make sure you have all the latest debugger and operating system the version of the debugger which is needed is not documented in MSDN as far as I know so make sure that you use the one which is shipped with Windows 8 or 8.1 SDK or DDK all the debugger does not work even though they have a network tab in the kernel debugging dialog in the target hardware the target you are debugging make sure that your NIC is in the list of supported Ethernet NICs in the Microsoft site so there is a list of Ethernet card and it numbers has given in MSDN so make sure that your NIC card is there in that list get the IP address of the host using ipconfig command this we will be using for configuring the target select a random port number between 49152 and 65535 50,000 should work connect the target and host via a router or a switch now a little bit about my setup my host is green dog and my target is wildcat if you want to remember the name of the machines wildcat is an 8.1 windows 8.1 machine they are connected via two network cables connected to a tp link router it's a wireless router but i have not used any wireless functionality i have used physical cables to connect it to the 
router it is a layer 3 device technically it is not a switch or you can think of like a layer 3 switch if you want targets NIC is a Qualcomm 8 ROS AR8132 this is there in the list which Microsoft has given and the position of the NIC is PCI bus 3 device 0 function 0 I don't have to worry much about this position as I have only one NIC if you have more than one NIC you may have to consider worrying about this but in this presentation I am considering only one NIC disable all kind of firewalls on both endpoints so make sure that you don't have any firewalls the communication between host and the target is a UDP communication through a random port on the host side and the port which you have given on the target side now get onto the target and type the following command in elevated command prompt so in my case violet cat which is a target is a laptop which is sitting next to me and I have taken RDP which you're gonna see in the demo of wildcat in my host machine the first command is making the debug setting on second command is letting the target send packets UDP packets from the target to the host with the IP address and the port number once you execute this command you will get a key which is fairly long and you have to transfer that somehow to the host now you can reboot the target now come back to the host computer open Win debug go to the file menu choose kernel debug in the kernel debugging dialog box open the net tab enter your port number and the key we got in the step number 8 and click OK and you should be connected to the debuggy or the target so this is violet cat so this mission is the target so this is connected via RDP as you can see here if I go to the device manager I can see my network card so if I go to properties I can see the model number which is AR8132 this is where the details of the bus so this particular number is there in the MSDN in the supported NIC list this particular number is there so that is the first thing to check and uh, this is Windows 8.1 the target now I'm going to start a elevated command prompt I'm going to type the command bcd edit slash debug on now I have to get the IP address of the host so this is the IP address of the host 192.168.0.100 I have selected the port 50,000 and this is my host IP so now I got a key I'm going to copy that key to my host now I'm going to reboot the target now the target is restarted and this is my host debugger so look at the debugger version it is 6.3.9616 384 so just check the 
version of the debugger maybe you need this or later so it is not mentioned in the MSDN which is the version of WinDebug required for this and in many cases the older versions won't work file kernel debug port is 5000 now we have to take the key which we got from the output of VCD edit paste it here click OK so it'll be waiting to reconnect now you can see it is connected to target so this is the IP address of violet cat 93680101 and the local IP is this if you remember correctly this is a IP we have entered inside violet cat it is uh, ready for a break so you can uh, break into the debugger now the RDP connection will go because there won't be any response from violet cat the target so RDP is not able to contact because it is broken into the debugger so now we can do any normal debugging kernel debugging tasks some of these steps can be a little bit complicated and uh, you may have to struggle a little bit to get it working but once it is working it is fairly straightforward there are a lot of troubleshooting steps mentioned in MSDN I'm giving you one particular step which is not given in MSDN it will help you to isolate the problem is in the target or in the host for this you have to install a tool called Wireshark so it is again a freely downloadable tool once you have started Wireshark go to capture interfaces now select the correct NIC where your target is connected and start capture now if you look at the package carefully if you want you can apply filters you will see UDP packet coming from the target so this is target 92680101 and the source port going to be 5000 which is the port we have set on the target so there will be periodic UDP packets like this coming from the target to the host if the target setting is correct if you're not seeing this package in the host it means that there is some problem with the target configuration you have to troubleshoot and focus on target on the other hand if you're getting this package from the target which means that the target is working fine and you have to troubleshoot further your host mostly your win debug side so here is a summary so kernel debugging of physical machine is recommended over VM debugging for low level hardware related debugging very convenient with the new network cable method we have seen two additional information which is the version of the debugger and troubleshooting with Wireshark which is not there in MSDN. And that's it. Thank you very much.